This week, inside Tarleton Agriculture, we discuss myths in the dairy industry. So my name is Dr. Barb Jones. I'm an assistant professor in the Animal Sciences and Veterinary Technology Department here at Tarleton. Um, I'm also the director of the Southwest Regional Dairy Center, which is where we are at today. No, there is not pus uh, in, in the milk um, that's not allowed. There are organizations called the Pasteurized Milk Ordinance that um, prevent any, any type of foreign substance from going into your milk that you get at the grocery store. So no, there is no pus in your milk. There's actually a, quite a few um, different aspects on the farm that you can do to prevent uh, any type of foreign substance from going into the milk. So number one, when we milk our cows, we are, are actually stripping out the cow's udders. And one of the reasons why we do that is for visual inspection just to make sure that the cow's milk is clean and healthy. And if she has some type of abnormality like mastitis, which is inflammation of the udder, we will mark her on her back legs with a, a chalk and she will be not milked. She will be segregated from the rest of the herd. She will be separated into a pen, which we call our hospital pen. It's just an area for cows that need just maybe a little bit more TLC. Um, and then at the same time, um, once she is segregated, she will still be milked, but that milk will not go into saleable milk. So it's not going to go into the milk that you're going to buy in, in the grocery store. And then we also are testing the, the cows monthly to, to make sure that they are, are healthy and have uh, good milk quality. And then also we're testing every load. So every time a tanker truck of load uh, leaves here from the dairy, we are um, testing that in, in a vial. They'll bring milk back to whatever processing plant they're going to, and they will test that for quality at the milk, proce milk processing plant. So farmers choose to use antibiotics because cows get sick. They're mammals just like you and I are mammals and sometimes we need antibiotics and we want to do take care of the cows the best way that we can. So we do treat cows here. Um, if they get sick, we work with a veterinarian, a local veterinarian, and if they do get sick, they will receive antibiotics. And so when a cow does receive antibiotics, they are marked with a leg band. It's bright red and so that everyone knows on the farm that that cow has received antibiotics. She will be segregated into the hospital pen again. Those cows are milked last, so the entire herd will be milked, and then those girls will be milked at the end of each milking. And so we can uh, separate their milk from the saleable milk. Um, and you can do a few different things with that. You can dump it down the drain, you can feed it to calves, um, just kind of so that you're not wasting a resource. Um, you could also sell it to a different farm um, that is, is also feeding calves. And so there we are segregating the cows and marking them with a leg band if they've received antibiotics to make sure that that milk does not go into the tank. And then also we're testing the the tank, the bulk tank, when uh, the milker, when the milk truck comes here, they'll take a sample of milk and test it at the processing plant. If it is for whatever reason contaminated, um, the producer has to pay for that load of milk and it's dumped down the drain. I actually don't know if I can explain why why we think that's true because they are very well cared for. If they were not well cared for, they would not produce as much milk as they do. So our cows here at our dairy, at the Southwest Regional Dairy Center, they produce 90 pounds of milk per day. And that's a lot of milk. So if they weren't well taken care of, care of they wouldn't produce that amount of milk. It's cool today, so we don't need any type of heat abatement system, meaning that we're just trying to cool the cows, but the cows have heat abatement systems in barns. They have nice, cool, comfortable, dry places. We use sand, which is the gold standard in the dairy industry, for where, where they can lie down. They're delivered uh, a cow casserole, a um, 
twice a day, so fresh feed twice a day. They have fresh water um, offered to them. They've done some, some studies where they've actually looked at if cows prefer to be outside or, or inside, and definitely when it's very, very hot, uh, like it is in Texas, they prefer to be inside. So they're very well cared for, so I, I'm not sure why that myth is out there.